Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making a summer favorite. We're making some keto coleslaw. So this is gonna be a great recipe for a barbecue, for a birthday party, for a weekend dinner side. I mean, you know, wherever you would think about eating coleslaw, you can take your own because this is gonna be sugar-free and keto friendly. So let's go over our ingredients. Okay, so let's go over our ingredients that we'll need for our coleslaw recipe. So I went the lazy way and I just picked up a little 10 ounce bag of shredded, pre-shredded uh, cabbage from Trader Joe's. These cost like a dollar something. Um, you can also use a full head of cabbage and maybe just do about half, but this is roughly, so 10 ounces is what we're using for this recipe, okay? So if you're making like a huge batch, then obviously you would just double all your ingredients. Um, we're also gonna do some pepper. Okay, so just, I'm using peppercorns, but you can just use finely ground pepper. This is one medium carrot shredded. We're gonna use some lemon juice, some red onion. You can also use white onion, but that's what I have on hand. That's what we're using. We have mayo. We have our sour cream. We have our sweetener. Then we have our apple cider vinegar, and we have our salt. So this is what we will need for our recipe. So let's get started. Okay, so now we're gonna get started on our dressing. And first we're gonna start off with our mayo. Okay, so we're gonna throw our mayonnaise right into our big bowl. We're just gonna mix everything in here together, like the dressing. That way, once we put it over the cabbage, um, you know, it's nice, everything's nicely incorporated. So now we have our sour cream. Okay, get all of it, whoa, get all that goodness in there. Now we have our apple cider vinegar. Okay, we are going to squeeze out some juice from here, but we can actually, um, let's first add our sweetener. So here we have six tablespoons of sweetener. If you want to, um, let's say, do four tablespoons, you know, depending on your, I mean, this is personal preference, right? But We've tried it out. I had a ton of people test it out, and this is the recipe that everyone was obsessed with. So it is six tablespoons. Um, if you think that it might be a little too much, then obviously um, start off with four and then just gauge it yourself, okay? And then we have one teaspoon of salt, okay? And we are going to do our lemon juice. So let me get my squeezer because I totally forgot, but see how that's just well incorporated and it's nicely mixing together. So then we're just gonna add it over our dry ingredients and it's gonna be perfection, okay? So let's go ahead and squeeze this little bad boy. So here we have some fresh lemon juice, okay? What we're trying to squeeze out is two and a half tablespoons, so. There's one. These are from our garden. They smell so good. Oh my gosh. Like one is uh oh. Okay, we're gonna have to get our little lime squeezer. There's two. And I'm gonna do a half. Let me <laughs> just because I'm not grabbing my lemon squeezer, see? And we're just gonna, it's a total of two and a half, okay? So don't mind my savage ways here. You guys just go ahead and do your, with a lemon squeezer, do two and a half tablespoons. There we go. And now let's mix that together. Almost forgot. Some pepper. okay. Let's mix it in. And the salt and pepper is really to taste. Um, I'm giving you guys a measurement that's for my personal liking, but you know, if you don't like pepper or that much of it, then obviously just, you know, use a little less. But once it's all mixed in, then you want to do a little, mm, do a little taste. Perfect. And now, we're going to 
move forward with our dry ingredients, okay? So let's go. Okay, so we're gonna open up our little package of um, cabbage. We're just gonna throw it into our bowl, like so. Then we're gonna grab our medium carrot, throw that bad boy in. Then we're gonna do our onion. So you only need about a quarter cup of onion. If you hate onion, don't add it. <laughs> but um, if you're just so so about it, just add a you know a few tablespoons. Um, this is you roughly want to do. I would say about three tablespoons, which is basically what we have here. So I measured it right. Okay. And then let me, um, I should have something else to mix with, but we'll do it with this. You're just going to mix all of the dry ingredients together, okay, so that everything is well incorporated. Oops. Okay, and once it's all mixed in, you are going to add the sauce. Okay, so now our dressing is all in here, and now all we're gonna do is mix everything together. So, if you like a crunchy coleslaw, then you can obviously just serve it right away as a dinner side or whatever you'd like. Um, but if you like more of the traditional coleslaw that is, you know, soft and has been basically marinating in its, in its dressing, then you leave it at least for four hours or overnight. But this here is done. And that is the simple way to make keto-friendly coleslaw. There you have it. Look at that. Okay, so now that I've mixed all of this together, I'm gonna put it, um, just cover it up and let it sit in the fridge but before we do that, I want to give it a final taste test just to make sure that it is perfect and ready to go. So, my favorite part. Mmm. Mmm. This is so perfect. Honestly, I've never been a huge, huge fan of coleslaw, but this recipe is amazing. Like, I'm so obsessed with it. This is my second time this week making it. And I cannot wait to take this to a family party and see what everybody thinks. I honestly don't think that people are gonna notice that it's sugar-free. So I hope you guys make this recipe. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Super simple summer recipe, keto-friendly coleslaw. Until next time, guys, I love you, and I'll see you soon.